Hey guys, this is Hurricane Central here bringing you guys an awesome video on how to make awesome weather graphics like this or this or this. So these look really high res and look pretty cool. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you gotta go create um, a new slide. So just create a tile slide. You can just cut all this crap out. Um, you can just get anything off the internet. You can get like this kind of picture. But um, let's just do this. We're gonna make a rainfall map. So just just um, select it, copy it, paste. And just you know it's already sized in and select your region I'm central Illinois, so I'm just gonna copy this I'm just gonna paste this on here so we got my region right here and the first thing you want to do is you want to make a legend you gotta have a legend so what I usually do is I make a text box and I just like t I turn it um, turn it vertical and I just move it like that so it looks like a pretty cool um, legend so we just resize it and put it like this this is my size usually um, you want to right click on it you want to click format shape um, gradient fill now if you're gonna do a rainfall map you're gonna to have to have greens and stuff so these little markers are your gradients so I'm gonna have more in this so let's start with the first the first thing you want to do is um, you want to like select what actually we gotta do this actually I want a darker green there um no I want this one to be a darker green okay <laughs> So if you want to click the direction that you want, like I want like this, um, but I really don't want it like that. So I'm just gonna, um, so I don't want it light going like that. I want it to pretty much go um, the other way. So I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go like this. Nope. <laughs> I click the right one, guys. Um. All right, guys, gotta find the right one. I don't want it to go sideways, I want it to go vertical. We got here it is. Here's a vertical. Alright, so I don't want the green too big. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to do this. And we're just gonna make this a uh, poopy color right now. So we're just gonna make this green really short with not that much um not that much sense. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and we're gonna and this one this marker is white, so we're gonna try to make that the yellow. So we're gonna we're gonna label these later so we have a yellow. We're gonna move it over here. Actually, we're gonna make green a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, like that. No, we're actually gonna make. And this is a new marker. We're gonna make it orange to make it to signify, you know, um, a lot bigger rainfall. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna move it over like that. And to add a new marker, you just click the Add Marker button. You move it over to where you want it to be. And we're gonna make this um, um, this color. We're gonna make it like a drought kind of color, but it's not a drought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. We're gonna make a new one. We're just gonna move it over. We're gonna select red. Um, this is just, this is gonna be this is gonna turn out pretty cool, guys. You're, you're gonna notice why. So we're gonna uh, add a new one. We're just gonna keep doing this, guys. We're gonna, just click just select a different color like dark red. Um, new one, last one possibly could be purple, probably purple like that. But make this make maybe make the purple a little more transparent. And there we go. We're, about, we're pretty much about done. So here's your uh, legend right here. You guys can always, you know. And th what's cool about this is that you guys, if you make us, if you make a circle and you copy these uh, transparencies, it'll actually copy all the colors, and you just have to color them in directions. It's pretty cool. So what you guys want to do is, if you want to make a, if you guys want to, um, pretty much just color your uh, map in, just create the scribble button at the shot at the top of the shape button. And just circle around the area that you want to um, be encircled. So I'm just gonna circle around here. That's like I always do. This is fake. I'm not. This is not real actually. So there's my circle. You just have to right click on that circle. Go into format shape. You guys know what I'm talking about. Fill green fill. What's cool? It'll have all, it'll have all your colors. So let's make this transparency about 20% so we can actually see the cities. So this is for green. The colors selected will get transparency. So. 20% um, for each so you can actually see the cities you don't want to make it too uh, dark so make it 20% 20% is my usual um, it's usually my favorite color is my favorite transparency because it doesn't make it too dark doesn't make it too light it just makes it nice and perfect nice and perfect you guys can make it whatever you want just 20% um, is mine so we're gonna do this transparency 20% and you guys can see guys you guys can see my um, cities and boom, there's 20%. You guys can actually see it now. 
If you guys want to change the colors of where the colors are, this isn't actually real. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill on um, position, direction. Do you want to go down like that? Um, is the rain coming from the south? Is it coming from here? Um, in this situation, I'm going to do this. And what you guys can just do is go to insert text box. Label this whatever you want. Um, usually I do um, uh, 0 0.25 inches. And then I'll do this. Uh, I did that. Create in white. Get a 24 font 24. Do it. Just keep doing this pretty much. Um, you know, half an inch is right here. Just gonna do this. Do this. Make it a little faster. Um, ooh, I actually forgot to highlight it, guys. <laughs> white. Boom. And we're gonna get. We got, I forgot the inch marks. Bam. That's foot marks. There. So we're just gonna keep doing this, and let's just, um, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing this. So let's do this. Um, this is my rainfall map. You can make whatever you want. It's pretty easy, actually, guys, to do this. Pretty much, just follow my guy, and you're gonna make awesome weather graphics. So we're just gonna do this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just gonna take a. Actually, I'm just. I'll just do it because I'll make a professional weather graphic. This isn't actually real. Um, one inch. We gotta make this huge. I'm gonna make this white. White. Twenty four. So this is going to be actually a lot, this will actually be a lot more purry, but right now it's not that purry. So let's do 1.25 inches. Let's just do that. We'll go up to like 1.75 or whatever. You guys can make it whatever you want. Um, 24. Insert text box. Uh, 1.50 inches. So that's foot. I don't want one and a half foot. That's stupid. <laughs> so we're just going to do that. Click the white, go up to the top with 24, and we're just going to go to 1.74. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do this. Click right click on, format shape. We'll make it like this, and we'll make it even a darker color. Um, we'll add one, and we'll put it over here. Let's do this. Move stuff over a little bit. Like that. There we go. So we'll make this one that color, or make it this color. It looks pretty cool. Um, now we'll put insert text box. You guys, you guys get it. You got a lot of text box to do in this. So 1.75. I don't like something at 1.75 inches. That's pretty stupid. Go up to the white. Um, 24. I like font 24. Um, let's move it up a little bit to make it look a little bit better. All right. Um, I know it's not even, but guys, I, I don't want to make this a huge, long, this long video. It makes it boring. Two inches. Um, white. Uh, 24. So you guys get it. We're it's pretty much um you know fair game. So we got two inches. We got all our legends right here. So all you guys gotta do pretty much is now you guys can make lines if you want of where all the rain's gonna happen. But what I like to do is I like to label city by city. So here's Galesburg. Uh, my legend. It's purple. It's 1.75. So I'll put 1.75 inches. So I like to keep it 18 pretty much. I don't like to make it 24 because it's too big. All the major cities I usually label. So 1.75, we got text box, Peoria. That's red, that's 1.5, 1.50 inches of rain. This, you never know, this could happen. It could get, an, you know, it, could, it just could happen. It's just, you know, and then <clears throat> go to white, insert, text box, a lot of this crap. 1.25 inches of rain. You guys can get it. That you, you guys can make it whatever direction you want. It's just, um, I, I usually like to format mine at this kind of, if it depends on the direction of the storm, if the storm's coming this way, you're going to try and make it like this. You're going to have to like try to do some moving around kind of stuff. So let's do this, text box. Let's do Springfield, yellow, that's about 0 0.75 inches. Um, there we go. So this is what I usually do all the time. I'll, it, will take, it won't take me like too long, but it'll take me like, so this is orange, so it's like one inch. Or champagne. So I don't like mine. Make, I don't like mine be like a right kind of thing. My right side kind of thing. I want all the numbers on one side. So I gotta make them. Like I said, let's do, let's, so let's just do Quincy for example. So let's do this. They're at orange. One point one inch. Let's just put one inch. Um, let's just do that. Boom. Um, we can just put some country kind of stuff in there just to make it nice and colorful. So this is green. It's about like 0 0.25 inches. 
So yeah, guys, this is pretty cool, guys. It's not that hard to make, and they're pretty um, I, they're pretty high resolution from my point of perspective. <laughs> Insert text box. Um, that's about yellow, so we'll just put that as 0 0.5 inches. So there, there. We'll actually move this up a little bit because that's kind of like in the close to it. There we go. So yeah, guys, that that's pretty much it. Um, you guys, you know, you guys always add another. You guys, you guys usually have to add a title to this stuff. So let's just make a title. Let's just do rain totals for Central Illinois. And that's what I usually do. I'll just highlight. I'll just make it a. I like doing like a 32 kind of font. 32 is a nice font for me, so I'm just gonna make it a different color. So I'll just make it like this. I like putting mine in bold because it makes it a little more transparent. It makes it look like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. See, you guys can make pretty nice weather graphics. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.